Have you ever wondered whether to switch to ITIL 4? Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and I make videos on business process automation. So why am I making a video on ITIL 4 now? I have more than 20 years of experience in IT service management, IT project management and business process automation. In fact, I started my career in an organization with tens of thousands of terminals that was using ITIL already in the 90s. At that time, together with my colleagues, I developed monitoring and event management out of necessity, long before this became a practice in ITIL. Already in these early days of IT operations, I wanted to be responsible for an IT service right from the beginning, starting with the design and the development phase. I wanted to make my own mistakes and not be responsible for the mistakes of others. Looking back, this was a long climb. It is extremely rewarding to be able to see the whole picture. It is essential to know the consequences of your decisions in the early phases of an IT project for the operation phase that follows. So who is this series for? This series is for managers who prefer acting to reacting. Managers who want to know where they are going. Which content is planned for this series? This series will not be a systematic introduction to the whole ITIL 4 framework. There is already plenty of excellent material out there on the web on this topic. Instead, I will focus on questions that puzzled me, things that have been unanswered from my point of view, and I'd like to share them with you and also get into a discussion with you. The other focus of this series will be the combination of ITIL and business process automation. After all, there are many practices and processes and value streams in ITIL that can be modeled and then can be automated with IT systems. This is a topic that interests me a lot. So subscribe if you want to stay tuned. See you in the next video.